Myself, you know, tunes like Get Up In, August Town, of course, you know, One Great World. Many others, in terms of for other people, I've written for people like Nesbitt, Guns Out This Morning. Guns Out This Morning, Babylon coming again. Guns Out This Morning, Question When Will It End? Mm, for Lucia, you know, tunes like, you know, um, United States of Africa. From the depths of South Africa, like a hurricane, the wind of change will blow. And we'll take our rightful place once more. True reflections and many more for Jackie or so. We are in this prison world, doing my faces, doing my time. I paint our own, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, where did the, the skill of writing come about? Uh, I just, you know, it's just something I, that I practice over over the time. You know, I've always, I'm not one to speak much, you know, so I have a tendency of writing down and jotting down things. And things generally affect me. And when I think stuff affect me, I write it down. So most of what I write is stuff that people can easily relate to, true life situations, you know. So I find it something that just grew on me over the years. Yeah. With writing now, some people can write and they can't do the melody, but you're able to do writing and the melody. Well, the melody came easy. I was kind of born with that, <laughs> you know. But um, you just have to work at it. You know, you just have to work at it. Um, a true artist paints a full picture, you know, and I'm trying to paint a full picture in whatever I do. So even if I take an art, a song to another artist, I would love to have the whole picture there. So basically, their job is just to reproduce it. Which is at the level which most people, you know, try to aspire to be. So luckily, I'm one that is somewhat there. Still work in progress, but you know, I'm, I'm grateful for where I am now. How do you choose an artist for a song to kind of portray? Because everybody can't capture the song like you want to. So how do you choose an artist for a song? Well, in terms of when I'm writing for other people, I try to listen to their range. You know. Of course, learn the personality of the person because you can't. It, not every song fits everyone. You know what I mean? So you write to the strengths of the, the the person that you're writing for. And the truth is, I pick and choose who I write for too because I can't exactly write for everybody. Because you know, I have a, a particular view that I'm trying to get across, a particular style, a particular theme in which I, I, I write with. And if it's not within that scope, then I'll probably not do it. I think life is a mixture, and for me, I like inspiring people you know and music for me is something that has over the years uplifted me you know changed the mood you know it, it made me better so i try to use that tool to make other people better of course anybody can sing you know well a love song to a girl or whatever it's all right and good there's always a place for that and a time for it you know what i mean but i find that i excel more to write um reality stuff and things which leaves a positive impact on people. It's something we love, true to the heart, so that's why I tend to stick to stuff like that. You know? Yo, how was it working with Dean Frazier and getting that experience? You know? <laughs> yeah, the truth is I don't really know how it is working with anybody else. <laughs> I, I mean, I came in and I met Dean Fraser when I was a little boy, you know. He used to be um, a tutor to my uncle. So when I used to go to these rehearsals, that whether it be for um, the Sonny Bradshaw band, which is the place that most great Jamaican musicians came through or in later years Rhythm Kings band that my uncle was a part of. So I knew him since then. So it was almost a natural transition, even though I was a part of a group, to go where I know. You know what I mean? So in the beginning, from the beginning of my career as a recording artist, and he's actually one that actually pushed me to write for other people. You know what I mean? So it's always inspiring, it's always a learning experience with Dean Fraser in studio. It never, that never changes, you know, because the, I mean, this man has been, has played for all the greats in our music, you know, from the Jimmy Cliff to Bob Marley to Peter Touch, right across. Um, it's probably this man, Decker, is the only person probably need. Um, didn't get a chance to um, actually play for, you know what I mean? But So he's been there, so he have a whole heap of knowledge, you can't get enough of it. For the business of publishing, you know, you know, 12 
songs that you wrote and you, you, you know if you're going to do like 15 tracks which is most of average on my albums so we try to make three tributes to Jamaica whether it be Jamaica not just musical greats because after 12 then there's no more publishing <laughs> you know what I mean so it, it's it's part of the business plus this is a song I've always loved you know what I mean Dean believes that everything that we do will try to do something to you know tribute the artists that have gone before so when I brought Cottage to the Grill and said, boy, this is the tune I want to go because it's a tune that I've always loved. I didn't get enough of it as a boy still, you know, because after a while, the music changes and you don't really get an opportunity to hear that much on the radio. But it was always a song that I So we, he was actually on tour. And I went to do my bridge and did the whole track. So when he come back, the track was pretty much there. Of course, he tweaked it a little bit, but the track was already there because of the love and the passion that I had for that song. Yeah. Do you like writing or singing more? Um, well, I think singing came first, so 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 naturally, I, I love to sing for people, but writing is, is, is right up there. Thank you so much for watching. I never knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like, share.